had this scheduled for two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but what we didn't know when we first scheduled it was that on May 3rd, Father Greg was receiving the Medal of Freedom. And that's, I want to talk about that. So uh, it was a week ago Friday, and I saw the video. Many of you were in this room watching it on, on TV. Uh, but I want to give you my impressions of the day. I had the honor and privilege to be with Greg that day with a few other fellows as well. And it was a magical day. It was a joyful day. And uh, I think you've seen Greg's post on our Instagram where the White House media asked him about it. And so here are some of his lines when he, when he talked about it. He says, it's about standing at the margins so that the margins are erased. It's about representing thousands and thousands of men and women who walk through our doors wanting to reimagine their lives. It's about the compassion to include people so that none of, so that there is no us and them, just us. Now listen, we know those lines, right? We talk about that quite a bit. But uh, as I sit back and think about it, here's Father Greg, our leader, standing in the White House, saying those lines to everybody, right? That's, that's pretty special. And so for me, it was, well, we all were, well, we're all were there, we're greatly anticipating the day uh, I went into that day full of joy knowing that the whole boy was going to be lifted up and seen by the whole nation and some around the world. And that Father Greg would justly be praised for the work that he has done and, and what he has created. And so walking, you know, you began the day walking through, uh, obviously you've got to get through security, White House security and this three different levels of security, but even all those folks were smiling and joyous and happy. It wasn't like going through the TSA line at the airport. <laughs> and yeah, you get through the security and then they uh, walk you through the corridor and you see these famous photographs. I remember John F. Kennedy was photographed in that same corridor and I see Father Greg walking down that same path that John Kennedy walked down that path. I think, wow, this is pretty special. We're in a place of history along the way. And so after that corridor, then you have to walk up the stairs. You walk up the stairs to the main entrance and the presidential orchestra is playing welcoming everybody, and it's it just full of joy and happiness. And then they move us uh, into the state dining room. Now, state dining room, that's where they have state dinners, head to state from all over the world. Um, and, uh, you know, portrait of Abraham Lincoln, and uh, we're having, uh, you know, light refreshments. They were mingling with other folks. And uh, me being an old man or something, I, I figure, you know, I have to go to the restroom. So I'm thinking, how am I going to get to the restroom? I don't see a restroom around. So I see the Marine, the Marine Guard all dressed up on the corner. I say, hey, is there, is there a restroom here? I said, oh, yeah, just go down the hallway, make a left, and go down the stairs, and make another left. But I think I'm in the White House. I can just walk around the White House. I'm like, oh, the <laughs> and, uh, and I did. And then I walked downstairs, I went through the presidential library, and uh, found the restroom. And I asked Shirley how many napkins she took out of her restroom. I had the presidential seal on it. But so then I come back up. And, you, and we're walking by all these presidential portraits. You know, it's a, it, the White House is famous for having the official portrait of the presidents. And so uh, almost all the presidents were there. And, uh, and I looked over, and, and actually Shirley took this photo. There's a picture of Inez sitting on the sofa underneath uh, Barack Obama's portrait, right? It was sort of it was very symbolic of it. And here we have one of our own sitting in the White House where all these great leaders were who made a difference. Uh, in our country. And here's a White House, it's, it's again full of history. You know, I, I was, as I was standing there in the, in the state room looking at Lincoln's portrait, and Lincoln did an Emancipation Proclamation in that area. He signed that proclamation to end slavery in the United States. So history was all about the long way. And so we finally get to the, get to the ceremony, and uh, you know, and, uh, you all saw it there. It was, it was a nice ceremony. And as I sit back and look about it, even Greg talks about it, he, he was there representing all of us, all of you who walk through this door looking to change your lives in a really positive way. And what Greg was getting the Medal of Freedom about was shining a light on the goodness of people. And the more I think about it, here is, uh, you know, again, the, the most powerful person in the world, President of the United States, recognizing the work that Father Greg has done all these years recognizing that work with people who are on the margins of our society to lean in and to invest. You know, I went back and looked at all the other Presidential Medal of Freedom winners, and I'm a numbers guy, so it's only been 650. You think about it, 650 winners and a population of half a billion people, right? And I also went back and looked at that list, and I don't think anyone else ran a nonprofit 
I don't think anybody else sort of works with people on the margins of our society. But Greg is recognized for the work he does. And so let me sort of end with this notion that uh, the work we all do, you all do, is being lifted up. And so on May 3rd, the, the President of the United States, leader of the free world, saw that work and recognized that work. And that's the same exact work you all do uh, every day. And indeed, the President of the United States recognized that hope does have an address, and it's right here at Hope Williams.